Welcome to Sailing Amory. I'm Janelle and this is John and this is our daughter Adeline. We are just an ordinary family showing you that you can make your dreams come true. We said goodbye to our life on land and we are now sailing our 43 foot yacht Amory. Join us as we set sail on our journey discovering what the beautiful world has to offer. Don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along on our adventures. So nerve-wracking. Don't know if you can tell on camera. You probably need to come to the left a bit more. This is what we have to go through. You got no left, left. That's enough. Yep, straight. Say bye bye to the reef. See you next time. Time for someone's sleep. So we've just uh, crossed the entrance at Hardy Reef, which is obviously not much of an entrance. And we're headed further east, a bit another 10 mile to a reef called Block Reef. Now I've, I can't really find much information on the reef, but I did happened to see some people out there and heard Border Force talking to them. So I've radioed the, those guys and, and they were happy to tell me, you know, it's a bit, bit sketchy on high, but we'll send the drone up again because that's, I mean, basically satellite imagery. 300 metres up, we can see every bommy. Um, and the water is so clear out here. Um, yeah. So we'll just keep you posted on how wonderful this reef is. Approached the reef from the southwestern side and a boat called out on the VHF and said, oh, you got to use the northern channel. So we've just skirted around. Uh, he was happy enough to give us some GPS coordinates. I'm still going to send the drone up. It's bloody clear out here. Um, in saying that, as we enter, we're going to be sort of sun in front of us. It's still high, it's um, 1.30 here. But if I've got the drone up, I can see where we are, where the bombings are. It's pretty, as good as you get, I think. just at Block Reef which I don't know if it really is called that on some charts it says what does it say it says black block, or block. It says little black and then black reef and then we've seen other charts that say block and then some people here are calling this block and over there black so I don't know so if you're local to here and you know leave us a comment below and let us know is there a block and a black or is it just black or is it just block? Who really knows? Anyway, it's pretty cool. We can only like just, just see Hook and Heyman. And what are the other ones that you said we could see? Whitsunday Island. And Whitsunday Island. 
but you could pretty much say that we can't see land because it's only like really 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 faint that you can but it's just incredible we're just sitting in here inside the lagoon I guess yeah. as you would call it um, surrounded by reef and bommies and it's just amazing what do you think of today's shenanigans? <laughs> hey? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? <laughs> Where are we? Did we go snorkeling today? Is the fish? We were lucky enough to spend the next three days anchored inside the lagoon at Little Black Reef. There was so much to see, we feel like we only just touched the edges of exploring this reef. A big thanks to sailing vessel Aquilibrium for guiding us in with some GPS coordinates. Just put up anchor after two nights at Block Reef. Now Janelle's up the front, weaving us through these. I've weaving us through all the bombies. It is 15. Well, man, I'm 17 meters now, and there's a bombie right there, a meter under. So I'll turn the camera up the front, and you can see how technical this little reef is. what I've resorted to. Adeline threw my sunnies overboard. So I'm wearing her sunnies. Anyway, we've just arrived in Can Bay after, I don't know, maybe five days out at the Outer Reef. So we've come here before, like many years ago when we'd done charter boat hires and it is just pristine here. So we're just gonna pull up a mooring now and this is where we'll stay tonight. Adeline's gonna love going back on land. After a good day sailing back, motoring back from the reef, the outer reef, 
We've caught a mackerel and a tuna. We're getting low on veggies, so got ourselves a nice little bean salad, rum and coke, of course, and some fresh mackerel. I think we caught it three hours ago. It's fresh. It was here. 16 meters. 16. 16 meters long. That is a massive grouper. Goodbye, Early Beach. I think we're officially leaving the Wit Sundays. Hands up if you're feeling sick. Uh oh, we got one casualty. We hope you enjoyed our last episode of our Wit Sunday reef hopping adventures. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave us a comment below. We are truly thankful for each and every one of you watching. See you next time.